Good morning. Welcome to Thursday here on BBC One and BBC One HD. And the sport. Now, our next story is not for the faint-hearted. No, three months ago, tree surgeon Tom Connolly was up a tree, mm. sawing away, mm. slipped, his neck fell into the path of his chainsaw. Paramedics say he only lived because of a helicopter medical team and a bandage used by army doctors in Afghanistan. Tom's recovered so well, he's here with us this morning. Morning. Hiya. Nice to see you. And you, And yeah. nice to see you looking all right. And he's with Dan, Dan Cody, part of the volunteer paramedic team that saved his life. If it's not too painful and too gruesome, can you talk us through what happened? Uh, sure, of course. Um, it was a, just a regular job. I mean, I've been doing this job for two years, so I, I know it. Um, everyday job, went up to a section of a tree down, cut it down bit by bit. And uh, I was there, I just slipped on one of my climbing spikes and rolled into my own saw. And the blade was still? It was still running, running yeah. Okay. And as a result, you got a, a horrendous wound. Can you show us your scar? Yeah, sure, there? yeah. Just it's, um, there. You see, red just line, see that? that red line goes right across. And how far around does that go? Uh, it's about a 15 centimetre scar. It goes round so you had, there and then comes so across. It's like you're chopping your own head off. E effectively, yeah. Gosh. Can and you then you were, how, they had to get you out of the tree. Yeah, well, I, I tried to get myself down out of the tree. Um, I was panicking at the time, of course. Mm. Um, but luckily, the guys I work with know what they're doing, so they come up and got me out of the tree within minutes. Um, so that, yeah, they knew what they were doing, got me out. And then, luckily, the ambulance team turned up fairly quickly, and these Magpass guys. Magpass, that's you, Dan, it is. turning up to the scene. And what did you think when you saw him? Um, we attended the scene. I was there with my colleague, Dr. James French, from the Magpass Helimedics team. Um, we turned up by helicopter. Uh, Tom's friends, as he said, had already got him out of the tree and administered life-saving first aid. If it hadn't have been for them, I don't think we'd have had a patient to what save. What was that life-saving first um, aid? Just very because simple. I mean, a third of your, a third of your neck had been cut into. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Just very simple, basic. Had him on the ground, pressing into his neck with a bandage, mm. with our colleagues from the ambulance service. Um, and the only way to describe it is wounds you don't see very often at all in in sort of civilian world, and um, it's a very deep, open uh, wound to his neck. With exposed blood vessels, and it was almost like a sort of low-budget horror film. Well, he cut, blood the squirting out oh, and cut the jugular. Yeah. I mean, sorry, it was a bloody, didn't it? Yeah. Um, so, so when you say so, you applied pressure to try to stem the blood flow. Yeah. Now, you've got a bandage with you. Yes. Uh, can I have a little look at it? Can. Let's just you you tell us what this is because it's something of a, of a magic a bandage. Yeah. So we realised quite quickly that the though the first aid was saving his life, mm -hmm. um, it wasn't enough, and we obviously had a transfer to hospital to do as well. Um, we knew we had to get quick control of the bleeding before Tom bled to death. And so we'd only just got this Selux gauze that's been used by the military in Afghanistan. Right. We'd only got it that week. It's after, quite thick. Yeah, after a donation was made to us. So it's a special bandage which um, works with a chemical in it that helps the blood clot quicker ah. um, so at the site. Right. So we just pack it in like a big roll of gauze, just pack yeah. it into the wound as deep as we can. Um, oh, and you then, actually pack it into yeah, the wound? Yeah, it goes right down into the wound. Gosh, and then Tom, they, they got you to the hospital. How many stitches? Um, I, I, I don't actually know. I, it was around 40 stitches of, overall with um, a load in my neck and a, also a load in my arm. So it was a I mean, miracle that they saved your life. Absolutely. And then they yeah. say to you, you're going to be in hospital for three weeks. And when did you get out? Uh, five days after the accident. Well, how did you manage that? I have no idea. It was just <laughs> due to these guys getting doing such a good job. Yeah. And uh, the staff at Adam Brooks Hospital, I mean, and the, guy, the guys that I work with, of course. Yeah, I have to say, you guys are amazing because you're a volunteer, aren't you? I am, yes, as is my colleague and as are all of our colleagues at Magpass. And um, we provide the medical yeah. team as volunteers. You're not quite up trees yet, are you? Not quite yet. I'm back doing um, sort of paperwork duties, light duties at the minute. Do you want to go back? Absolutely. Up the tree. You do? Uh, yeah, I can't wait to get back to cutting trees. It's again. great fun. Yeah. Uh, it looks, I mean, I'm not sure, yeah. it's just because they're hanging around on ropes and then you've got the chainsaw in one hand yeah. and you're doing nice slicing things, you just have to be a little Careful bit... Careful that you don't <laughs> slice the wrong yeah. thing. Um, <laughs> is there a safety thing you can put over the, the chainsaw to ensure there, that this there are, thing the, doesn't happen? The chainsaw again? itself has got so many safety catches and things on it, but unfortunately as I was cutting the tree yeah. at the time, um, none of them were implemented. <gasps> but, um, oh, it just makes you, doesn't it, just even thinking about it? It does. It's well, lovely to see you, yeah, and so perky you, yeah. as well. It happened in April, didn't it? That's correct. Yeah. Okay, and you'll right. be back up a tree when? Uh, hopefully soon, within the next six months, hopefully. <laughs> within the next right. six Dan, months. Dan, well done. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you. And well done to you and your Thank colleagues. Much. Incredible work, Thank really. <sighs> mm, Just doesn't bear thinking about it. Ooh. Coming up, BBC News Channel. Has the latest news from...